How many minds do you have? Now, I think each of you only has one mind. But some dual process theorists have disagreed. They've argued that since human reasoning gets tripped up, sometimes influenced by implicit racist or sexist attitudes, humans have two kinds of reasoning processes. There's type one processing. It's evolutionarily old. It's fast, automatic, heuristic, associative. It's quick and dirty, but it gets the job done. Then there's type two processing. It's evolutionarily new, slow, effortful, rule-based. It's really hard for us to use, but when we do use it, we tend to come out better for it. Now, if these folks are right, it would have all kinds of implications for our theorizing, especially moral theorizing. Just consider, how can I be held morally responsible for something that my type one reasoning did automatically? Now, I'm skeptical. Okay. First of all, I think that those nice, neat, tidy clusters of properties I just gave you, they're not actually so nice and neat. I think they crisscross one another. For example, I can follow a rule quickly, sometimes effortlessly. And control comes as a matter of degree. It's not all or nothing. If we want to help humans become better reasoners, we're going to need a better account of human reasoning. And as a philosopher of psychology, it's my job to provide an account that accommodates these facts and explain how psychologists might be able to test that theory. So my suggestion is that the reasoning system is like a sound mixing board with lots of slides and switches for all those opposing properties. Now, which way will the system operate? Well, it depends on a combination of external factors, the wording of the problem, how much time we give a subject, and internal factors, the abilities of the subject, how much they actually care about that reasoning problem we just gave them. In my dissertation, I put this account to a test. I argued that if humans had contradictory beliefs that were generated simultaneously by reasoning, we would have very good reasons to think that there are, in fact, two separate reasoning processes going on. One responsible for this belief, one responsible for this contradictory, contrary belief. Now, I argue that we have no evidence for the existence of such beliefs currently. But I suggest a new paradigm that researchers could use to test for their existence. In contrast to these dual process theorists, my account is empirically falsifiable. So what I'm really giving us here is a new way of thinking about human thinking. If I'm right, we don't have two minds that are at war with one another. And we're not locked into some evolutionarily old way of thinking. You're not forced to default to those processes responsible for implicit racism and sexism. We can learn how to alter those slides and switches on the reasoning system. We can learn how to become better reasoners. Thanks.